I'm Trevor Paulson, Senior Product Manager for Adobe Analytics. I'm excited to demonstrate for you some new curation capabilities for virtual report suites that we've aimed at making data sharing easier for any organization. To get started, you can use this from an existing virtual report suite or create a new one and navigate to the third tab here, Components, after giving the report suite a name and selecting the base report suite. Once you've made it to this third tab, you can enable the new curation capabilities by simply clicking the Enable Customization of Virtual Report Suite Components box. You'll notice that when I check that box, that in my product compatibility list on the right hand side over here, you'll see that Analysis Workspace is the only product that this is compatible with. That means if I use this customization, and a user opens this virtual report suite, it will only be available in Analysis Workspace and will not be available anywhere else. So for this example, I'm going to create a virtual report suite for our mobile app analytics team specifically because they have specific data and nomenclature that they use and I want to create a virtual report suite just for them that will make sense to them. So the first thing that I'm going to do, and you'll notice I've got two big boxes here, excluded components and included components, uh, which allow me to pick and choose which of all the dimensions, metrics, and segments I want to include or exclude from this virtual report suite. So to start, I'm actually going to use uh, some cool new tagging filters that have been brought into uh, this feature by default. So if I click on that little funnel icon, I can now automatically click on the mobile group. And you'll notice that we've kind of done a, some smart tagging so that you can now see all of the dimensions, metrics uh, that apply to a mobile app analytics context. And that's exactly what my team is looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and add all of those components to this virtual report suite. Uh, you'll notice we've also included some tags for web, or I can filter things down to dimensions, metrics, segments, or time ranges, or even use some of my own custom tagging. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and pick the mobile tag, because I have a lot of segments that my mobile team really likes to use, um, such as acquisition or new users, etc. And I'm going to go ahead and add all of those segments over as well. Now, um, some, sometimes you'll notice that uh, the lingo that we use in the web context is not exactly uh, in line with the lingo that our mobile app team would use. Um, for example, you'll notice I have different metrics, things like unique visitors. Well, our mobile app team prefers to use the term user. So instead of using unique visitors, I can now rename this by simply clicking on the rename and typing in users. And now that metric will be surfaced in Analysis Workspace as users. You can see it uh, puts in parentheses what the original metric was so that I don't get confused. Um, I'm actually going to do that for visits as well and change that to sessions. And uh, quickly scanning through, you'll notice that, oh, there's another one that's very web-centric page. I'm going to change that to app screen. And by doing that, it makes it a lot easier for my mobile app analytics team to use this data without getting confused. So with that, I'm ready to actually now test it out. All I have to do now is hit save, and my virtual report suite will be ready to use. Skipping over to Analysis Workspace and having selected this virtual report suite, You'll now see that all of the dimensions, metrics, and segments that I included in my virtual report suite are here, and they have their friendly name. In this case, app screen, you can see users and sessions. You'll also want to know that by simply clicking on the info icon here, you can see what the original name of it was. You can see I've renamed it from visits, which is helpful for me as an admin because I can see what the original name was or when my mobile app team has a question, I know what it is exactly that they're referring to. In addition to that, I might sometimes, as an admin, want to get at a dimension or metric that I didn't include in the virtual report suite originally. So I might say EVAR4, for example. 
And you can see, oh, it's showing me some components that weren't originally included. So I can get at those too. Uh, if I'm an admin, if I'm not an admin, that won't show up. So this new uh, curation capability is now available to all virtual report suites. And we hope it makes your life a lot easier in sharing data with your teams. Thanks for watching.